Hello, I'm Matt Smythe from Aqua Enviro, and I'm here to talk to you about the world of thickening and dewatering with wastewater sludges. There are two main sources of sludge from wastewater treatment, the primary, coarse solids, and the secondary, biological solids produced from aerobic wastewater treatment. These are created on all sites throughout the UK and often need transporting to centralised sludge processing centres. In their natural state, these solids are quite thin. Primary solids are about 3% by weight, which means they're 97% water, and secondary solids are just 0.6%, which means they're 99.4% water. Moving these sludges is costly and time consuming. Furthermore, sludge stabilisation processes, commonly anaerobic digestion in the UK, need thicker sludges in the region of 6% dry solids. That's half the volume of primary sludge and 10% of the volume of secondary sludge. These feed into the treatment processes, which in turn degrade solids, creating an outturn sludge, which is about 3% dry solids. And this must be dewatered for cost-effective transportation to land application, as well as storage. To start with a comment on terminology, thickening tends to be creation of thick slurries of sludge up to about 6% dry solids, whilst dewatering is the conversion of either thin slurries or digestics into a sludge cake, and that's about 25% dry solids or more. A variety of technologies exist to thicken or dewater the sludges. And these include, but aren't limited to, gravity belt thickeners, drum thickeners, centrifuges, screw presses and sludge presses. Each of these have their own individual advantages and disadvantages. However, none of them will work effectively without the addition of polyelectrolyte, or poly for short. Poly is expensive, costing between £2 and £5 per kilogram with application rates of up to 10 kilograms of polymer per tonne of dry solids in the sludge. Whilst numerous types of polymers and polymer manufacturers exist, the principle of operation is similar. These can be powdered or liquid and polymers are electrically charged, either positively or negatively, and these bind onto the solids within the sludge, causing them to flocculate and bind together, which releases free water between the solids which can then be subsequently removed through mechanical processes. Optimising these processes can largely be undertaken on site. However, optimising the polymer can yield massive gains in reducing operational costs in the form of reducing the amount of polymer, but also increasing the cake dry solids and therefore reducing the transportation cost. Since all sewages are different, all wastewater sludges also have different characteristics and therefore a polymer that suits one site and one type of mechanical process may not suit another. No one solution fits all and therefore they should be individually trialled, especially when installing new assets with capital scheme guarantees. To optimise polymer dose rates there are a range of techniques that can be used and these all involve jar testing to give you a homogeneous a dose of polymer into a sludge at a variety of dose rates and with a different number of polymer types. Standard tests include the capillary suction time, which provides an indication of how easily or quickly polymer can be released, but they do not indicate actual outturn dry solids concentration or the quality of the liquor created through the thickening or dewatering process. Aquinviro have created a test which uses a semi-permeable membrane and pressurisation apparatus which can mimic thickening and dewatering processes using real sludge on a bench scale. Using this test we're able to collect sludge cake and liquor samples for analysis but we are also able to measure the real-time evolution of water from the sludge under pressure allowing the characteristics to be compared and optimised for individual mechanical processes. Aquinviro has undertaken works using this test for water utilities and Tier 1 contractors, mimicking every technology from free drainage in geobags to large piston presses designed to create sludge cake that exceeds 40% dry solids. Using a combination of techniques, we've been able to recommend alternative polymers, reduce consumption rates and improve cake quality on most of the sites we work upon.
If you would like to talk further about optimization of sludge thickening and dewatering systems, please get in touch with us at Aqua Enviro.